Um, so then if you guys are going to do 5, 8, and 9, you cannot use a quadratic formula because it's not a quadratic, it's a cubic function. So you have to solve by roots, okay? Um, um, here. Okay, so here's my equal sign. I'm going to inverse operate that 10. And so, you know, 0 plus 10 is just 10. So now I get, right? Okay, so now I'm going to take, right, so K, take the A over, and I'm going to end up bleeding into the next question. All right, what's 10 divided by 40? Yeah, 40. And let's do it the other way. Oh, wait, you can't even see. You get 40? Okay, here's your root. You're going to inverse operate the function. So here, because it's a cube, I'm going to cube root it. So this is going to have the cube root 3, which is... Uh, it's that. For me, it's this button here, or you can use the other one. See that little 3? And then 40... And 3.42. Ah. 4.2. And then this is just x plus 5. Okay, and now you're going to go subtract 5, and I get x is equal to 3.42 minus 5, which is... Oh, I could just minus 5 here. I get negative 1.58. That is your x-intercept. And if we look at our graph, that is like right here. But it kind of doesn't look like it's crossing there. Yeah, it's probably a little off. Yeah, so there you go. Okay, if for 8 and 9, if you have the 11, so it's 11.2, whoops, that's an equal sign, 11, and then this is negative 15. If you're looking for the input, but I give you the output, just go ahead and same thing. It's K, A, inverse operate the root, and then whatever the H is, and then you'll get your answer. And then 6 and 7, it's up to you. I would go vertex form just because um, that negative 7, if you decided to go standard form, you would have to go 0 0.25, negative 7 cubed, plus 3.75, negative 7 squared. Like, that is so much work. Versus you would just have to substitute it in one place, the negative 5 and the 0.5. Okay.